Yo, yo, this is Mario from shockingfit.com and today I'm standing in front of Tian Ho Gong. A famous temple here in Taipei, Taiwan. And I decided to shoot a video for you guys. The topic of today's video is when should you change your workout? How to know if your workout is, is effective or not? So the problem, the basic problem of this is like lack of awareness and being mindful about your progress. So the progress that each, of, at, each athlete struggles for is like a linear progression. So over time, you are either getting stronger or you're staying the same. Rarely you will get weaker if you exercise. But if you're not getting stronger, that means your, your workout is not effective. Or either if you're not building muscle, if you're not getting better at what you do. So imagine someone practicing tennis. If they're, if they're practicing uh, like 20 swings a day and they're not getting better, what, what would that person do? It will practice like 40, 50, 100, whatever it takes to get better at that skill. So the same goes for your workout. The, th the point of this video that I wanted to shoot is I see a lot of questions in my inbox like, should I change my workout? Is my workout effective? I'm doing like five times five for like last three months. Should I keep changing that for like a more complex system? Am I a beginner? Should I, should I go for like, uh, like a typical bodybuilding split? Well, the, the way I approach this is like fairly simple. So the basic principle is if something is working, you don't want to change that. It same goes for your diet, it same goes for your workout. If your workout is effective, meaning that you're adding a weight, if you're adding pounds to the bar on a weekly basis or even on a daily basis for a beginner, why would you change that workout? The, you need to milk the position where you're in right now. If you're able to progress with a simple system like five times five strong lifts, why would you change that? There will be time where you're gonna stop progressing on that workout. There will come a time where that system will not be effective anymore. And when that time comes, then you can turn into a more complex uh, like programming system like uh, FAT by Lane Norton or you wanna do something like uh, specializations program for squats, whatever you decide. But at this point, if you're progressing, that means if you're adding like uh, five pounds a week on your squat, if you're adding like, like 2.5 pounds on your bench press, there's no need to change that. That's, that those numbers are good. Th those numbers are really, really good. For an advanced athlete to add like five, 10 pounds to a lift would take months and you're doing that in a matter of weeks. So you should not change that. The, the second point that I wanna make in this video is a lot of people will let their emotions control the fact uh, that they need, they need a change. So they'll say, okay, oh yeah, I'm bored of my workout. So the first thing you need to decide what you want. If you're just a casual lifter who is kind of happy with like average mediocre goals, like who's happy with like a little bit of strength gains, yeah, I mean, you can change your workout, whatever. You can do whatever the fuck you want, honestly. Like you, you just need to lift, you enjoy, you have fun. But if you're someone who really wants to reach the level where you're progressing, where you're like trying to beat yourself every workout, if you're trying to like uh, improve your personal best, if you're trying to reach your maximum potential, then no, you cannot be like thinking, oh yeah, I'm bored, I'm gonna change it. There's no place for emotions in, in a decision where you wanna do like something that is optimal. Emotions should be mastered. You need to have mastered your emotions. So when they tell you, oh yeah, this, this is boring, Look, dude, it's a grind. It's a fucking grind. You will have to go through the grind. If you look at advanced athletes, if you look at people like, like Tiger Woods, but they've been like, they've been training like for 25 fucking years. They've been doing the same movements for 20 years and they're trying to improve. They're doing the grind and you need to do the grind as well if you want optimal results. And you think Tiger Woods is not bored? Of course he's bored, you know? I mean, like, come on, let's be honest here. But still, he's doing it because he has a higher goal in his mind. He trusts the process. And I'm not gonna go deep into this. This is a topic for an entirely new video. But just the point here that I'm trying to make is like master your emotions. Realize that proper programming, proper workout is all about tangible results. If you're getting tangible results, meaning adding extra pounds to the bar, 
every week, that means that it's working. Do not change something that's working. When it stops working, change. That's the correct mentality that will keep you pushing and progressing for a very, very long time. Thanks for watching the video. Really having a blast here in uh, Taipei, Taiwan. Enjoying the scenery, the food, like the people, the culture. If you haven't been to this place, definitely check it out. And as always, if you have some comment on the video, leave it below and subscribe to the YouTube channel to get more videos like these. Thank you. Bye.